let's get straight into round one preview. Um, so obviously next weekend is the Bathurst 500, the, um, the first of two Bathurst races this year for supercars. Uh, it's a soft tire round. Uh, we've got two 250k races. Um, I'm very intrigued to see because, like I said, soft tires. Uh, of course, last year was boring as hell purely because of the hard tire. Oh, sorry, soft tire. They're using hard tires this weekend. I'm, you know what I mean. I'm getting, I'm getting mixed up. But they're using the opposite tire they used for the main race last year. <laughs> they're using the hards this year. Oh no, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> What are you saying? No, it's, they're using... No, they, they ran the softs last year because it was a 30-lap stint that everyone could do. Right? Good night, everyone. Yeah, leave. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, so they're using hards this, this upcoming weekend, not softs, which means yeah, they can so actually go the distance. Yes, yes, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Is it a choice or is it just hards? It's hards. Because I preferred back in the day when they had the option. I hope, in saying that though, I really hope they actually do the option uh, for the big race, the 1,000. Because I want want it to be mixed up a bit. Um, Yeah, I agree. But also, this is like half the reason why Shane left. Yeah, he said no. I'll never forget. I don't like Shane Van Gisbergen at all, but I watched. I listened to this podcast with him and Dale Earnhardt, mainly about his Chicago win. But it was talking about why supercars are so eh, um, and that was the main reason. He goes, "You're just following everybody because there's no advantage." Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, like you have, need to, you have to conserve on that one. Yeah, that's what I mean. You need something like. That is probably the only thing, let's be honest, saving Formula 1 right now. Mm. Uh, the discrepancy in tyres and picking whatever you want. And they got rid of the Q3 top 10 tyre rule, which is great. Oh, yeah. Um, and now that everyone can have a chance to finish second because Max will win. But we'll talk about that another, another day. Actually, in saying <laughs> that, though, before we get, I actually want to talk about one quick thing about Formula 1. I know we're going off topic, but did you hear about the oh, rumours about Adrian Newey moving to Ferrari, potentially? Oh. Now, that could be dangerous if that goes ahead. See, Lewis is smart. Mm. I would actually I actually would love that, because I want Ferrari to actually do well for once. Um, yeah, agreed. So, I'm all for that. <laughs> but we, anyway, we'll do that another day. Uh, let's yep. get into the schedule for the Bathurst 500. So Friday on the 23rd, 23rd of February, uh, we've got uh, practice one for the Super 2-3 series at 8.30 a.m. for a 50-minute session. Then we've got uh, practice one for the supercars at 12 p.m., which is 60 minutes. Uh, and then we have got uh, <laughs> practice two uh, for the Super 2s at 2.55, which is 40 minutes. And then for supercars, we got the second practice at 3.50. Saturday, uh, for the 24th of February, we've got uh, qualifying for the Dunlop Series at 8.55 a.m. And then we've got qualifying for supercars at 9.50, which is afterwards. Uh, And then we've got the top 10 shootout at 12.30. Race one for Super 2 is at 2.15 p.m. And at 3.40, we've got the first race of the year for supercars. And then on Sunday, we have got uh, qualifying at 8.10 for Dunlops. Uh, top 10 shootout at 11.30 for supercars. Where the heck are supercars? Wait, what? Hang on. There's no call. I don't know where the qualifying session It's run away. Okay, so on the website here, I can't find qualifying for the main series. I'm sure that's no, happening no. during the morning. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, t- at 11.30 is top 10 shootout. Uh, race 2 is at one ten for Dunlop Series, and then at 2.35, we've got race 2 for Repco Supercars. So another action-packed weekend coming up for the year. Um, we've got Aussie Racing Cars, V8 Utes, Touring Car Masters, um, plus... We can't forget the the literally the weekend before, which is this weekend, the massive twelve hour. So that'd be very cool. Yeah, the twelve hour is going to be pretty interesting. 
No, I'm looking forward to fair, it. Fair few Vita supercar drivers in the in the field. Hmm. And uh, now that you say that, they're actually doing some Vita supercar demos throughout the weekend as well. For some reason. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know why I've gone so bright here. Plus, the Wiggles are going to be there too, so that makes it even more incredible. Well, that means we have to watch. Uh... Yeah. Literally, you, whoever's going to Bathurst 12 Hour, you've got to make it for the Wiggles. You get a free concert out of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not many uh, international teams. Nah. I haven't actually had Any, a proper look at the grid one, yet. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've lost count. Um, but uh, who do you reckon? Uh, who do you reckon is going to do? Who's going to um, lead the championship from uh, after round one? After round one, um, oh man, it's hard to not go past Triple Eight again. But if someone else is going to be leading, uh, Cam Waters is going to be up there. Um. Maybe even a sh- uh, maybe not leading the championship, but it'd be up there. Maybe even David Reynolds if they can get the team eighteen car up there. Maybe I'm excited I'm to see what they do with a, I'm throwing a bit of a spanner in the works, but no, well, you know, um, the thing is, Dave, um, Dave does good around Bathurst, and he plus he's in the Camaro, so he might yeah. actually do a bit better. Um, Who knows? But we'll see. But I reckon you're right, Triple Eight. Are going to be a weapon again this year. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I, f- I forgot someone. Yeah. It could be one of the Penrite boys. Mm, definitely with Stanaway as well. Oh, Payne. Mm-hmm. Obviously, both of them, actually. Because Payne did actually quite well last year, too, I'm pretty sure. At Bathurst. Yeah. Didn't he qualify front yeah. row? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God, that was a long time ago. And plus, he finished fifth or something around there. Who got Who got pole? Wasn't that C- him? No, Kostecki got pole. Kostecki got pole. Yeah, because yeah. that's because remember I was like Kostecki's going to win because of that. Like he's they're just fast. Yeah, but anyway, see what that that sort of ended up quite well. Um, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> it, it depends if the Mustang is good. I reckon we have got Cam Waters and Chaz Mostert to look out for, uh, and the and the Grove guys. Uh, but yeah, I reckon Brock Feeney, because uh, he'll be looking. I know it's just the five hundred, but he'll be looking for redemption after. Um, the disappointing end to last year's 1,000. He was so good. He was dominant. He Him was and, so, so fast. I think Shane may have been a bit quicker, but I think over the whole... Sorry. Shane may have been quicker over the whole like race, like consistency, but Brock had such fast pace. It was ridiculous. So mm-hmm. I think in a, in a shorter version, um, obviously each race is 250k, I yeah, I can't see many people beating Brock. No, he's he's going to be quick this year, um, and I'm I'm I really wish I actually do hope he does well because he deserves it and he's very fast. Very excited to see what the year brings. Um, we've got a big year coming up. Curious to see how this what this Erebus stuff, uh, how it unfolds. Um, curious to see what their car looks like, and curious to see how Todd and Jack go round one. Um, but yeah, any any final thoughts, Alex? No, I'm just keen to get the season rolling, and yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good year. We got we're going to have a brand new champion somewhere. <laughs> we are, we're definitely guaranteed that. So yes. um, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, we see a car number one next year. <laughs> yeah, I missed that number. If they're one. not at Erebus, then that will be fine. Mm. Well. That concludes our live stream and uh, our pod for tonight. Thanks for everyone who joined tonight. I uh, appreciate all the people who commented and whatnot. Um, stay tuned for uh, the Bathurst 500 review, which will be another live stream as well, um, which will probably be in a couple of weeks, obviously, after the race. See how we go. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.